hi there, let's get right into it. To create a new LSMW project, we navigate to transaction code LSMW. You can see here a message by SAP. We can simply click on continue. And then over here, we click on create entry like that. We need to store project ID. Let's say we create a project to import asset master data. So I will just call it set asset one. This project is to generate asset masters. Okay, click on continue. Sub project will call the same and then also the description the same. Continue and the object the same as well and continue. Okay, now we can click on continue. Now you can see over here different process steps. We need to go through all of them one by one. So we click on define object attributes and then on execute. And over here we navigate into the change mode. So we will select batch input recording because we are going to create a simple batch input session and telling the system what steps it needs to conduct afterwards on mass. So I selected batch input session and then we click on this button over here recordings overview. You can see no recordings exist yet. So we create a new one via this button over here. We will call the recording Z asset and description is create asset master. And then we click on continue. Transaction code to create an asset is AS01 and click on continue. And now we go through the steps to create an asset on the manual way in the SAP system. We need to select an asset class, then the company code and number of similar assets. And then we click on master data. By the way, if you want to find out more about asset accounting, I will leave you a playlist of mine in the description of this video. Let's call this test asset master LSMW2 in my case. And then I will just fill some of the data. So here this is fine. We click on time dependent. You can see the recording is already running in the background. We need to include a cost center and then that's basically it. Nothing to do in the origins tabs and depreciation area for now. So we can click on save. You can see an asset was created. So this is fine. And now you can see here that our system recorded all of these steps we took a minute ago. Here we click on default all like that and click on save. Now we go back and back again and back again. And over here we now store our recording Z asset and click on save. Now our recording is done. Let's go back and to the next step. The next step is called define source structures. So click on this one, then go into the change mode and then click on create a structure. We will call the structure Z test asset. Description is structure to create a test asset and then save. Then we go back. We select define source structures and click on object overview. And here we select table. And here you can see all the different technical fields our LSMW recorded. So make sure that those are the fields you actually want to fill later on. Now it actually makes sense to copy those entries over here. So select them and then copy them into a blank Excel sheet like that. Just keep this Excel somewhere. Now we can go back and click on define source fields. Click on the source field and then on change mode. And then we click on table maintenance. Now we need the technical fields that should be filled later on. So go to your Excel and then just copy and paste the fields over here like that field label. So this is exactly what we copied. I will just start in the consecutive columns, the length and also the type. In my case, it was C, C and then numeric and the rest was all char values like that. Okay. Click on save and go back and click on save again and go back. Now click on define structure relations, select create asset master, go to the change mode and then click on create relationship. You can see, it's already assigned, we can save and that's it. Now we go to define field mapping and conversion rules. Click on this one, go into the change mode. And then over here, we go under extras to auto field mapping to map our fields automatically. Click on continue. Now we can see the proposal. You can see a hundred percent match. So this is fine. We accept it and we just accept all of them. This is actually best practice. Now we can save. And that's it. This one here is actually optional if we want any fixed values or translations to be defined. So for now we will leave it as is. Now we are finished with all the mapping and now it comes to our file. So therefore I open the Excel file again. Here you can see all what was stored. So what we will actually do is we create a new Excel and we will copy those values into the Excel. So what we will do is we only need those ones over here. So everything below the transaction code, we will copy it. And then in our Excel, 
we select cell A1, right click and then transpose like that. So your Excel should look exactly like this. Now we can fill the different data. So in asset class was 2000 in my example, the company called 1710, number of similar assets one, sub number zero, as a description, inventory indicator was an X, then the cost center we need to fill, and also we need to fill the profit center, and also we need to fill the segment. That's basically it. Now you need to make sure to delete those lines over here so that only the values are remaining. So we delete those lines, and then we can actually save our Excel file. We save this Excel file as LSMW test one, and we will save it as a text tab delimited like that and then save. Okay, now we can continue here, click on specify files, go into the change mode and over here on legacy data, we click on add entry and now we select our file from our local folder. Give it a name, ztest asset one and here we'll select tabulator as the delimiter option. Okay, that's fine. Now click on save and go back, then click on assign files. Over here we need to make sure in the change mode that our assignment is already executed like that. So save, it's all fine. Then we go to read data so that the system now reads the data. Just click on execute and allow. You can see one line was read and also written. That's fine because we only inserted one line in our Excel. So go back and back again. Then click on display read data, just execute. You can see here the data that was read. This is also fine. This is exactly what we were expecting. So go back and back again. Then we need to convert the data into an SAP format. So we execute. It's also fine over here. You can see everything is written. So we can go back and back again. We can display the converted data. You can see this is also exactly what we were expecting. And then we can create the batch input session to actually create our new asset master. The file is correct, so I can click on execute. You can see one batch input folder with one transaction created. And now we only need to run the batch input session via this button over here. You can see here we have the batch input session. We select it, click on process, and we can either process it in the foreground or the background. For now, I will say foreground so that you can see what the system is actually doing. We click on process and now you can see the system is actually going through all what we have done manually now step by step. You can see here it opened the transaction code to create a new asset. It filled already the data over here from our Excel. So we can click on enter and then we can see here it takes a description as we wanted it and over here the include asset and inventory list button. Then we can click on enter. On the time dependent tab, we have the cost center, which is mandatory. So this is also fine. And if we hit enter, also the profit center and segment will be derived from the cost center, as you can see. So we can click enter again. In the regions tabs, we didn't do anything as well as in the depreciation tab. If we now hit enter, you can see here the system displays the message. All is fine. So we can click on enter again. And you can see processing of batch input session completed. Click on session overview and now you will see that the batch input session is gone. So this means that it was executed successfully. Now let's actually display our new asset via slash n sa03 and over here the right number is already selected. I can click on enter and you can see here is the new asset created through a batch input session. I hope you liked this extensive video. It took a lot of effort so I would really appreciate if you subscribe to the channel and also activate the bell. See you next time.